Imagine a world where HIV, one of the deadliest viruses in human history, could be stopped before it even begins. After more than 40 years of setbacks and slow progress, science may finally be closing in on a solution. And it's all thanks to the same technology that helped us fight COVID-19, mRNA. In this video, we explore the latest breakthrough in HIV vaccine research and how a new mRNA vaccine is showing real promise in human trials. Despite decades of research, there's still no effective vaccine for HIV. Why? Because HIV is a master of disguise. It targets CD4 T cells, the very cells meant to defend us. It mutates rapidly, making it hard for the immune system to keep up. And unlike most viruses, it hides inside the immune system itself, evading attack. Traditional vaccines haven't worked because they don't generate the kind of immune response HIV demands. This is where mRNA comes in. Instead of injecting a weakened virus, mRNA vaccines deliver a genetic blueprint. Your cells use this blueprint to build a harmless viral protein, which teaches your immune system what to attack. If you got the Pfizer or Moderna COVID-19 vaccine, you've already experienced this in action. Now scientists are using that same technology, not just to protect against HIV, but to outsmart it. A recent clinical trial led by Dr. William Sheaf's team brought new hope to HIV vaccine development. Published in Science Translational Medicine, 2025, this study marks only the third time an mRNA-based HIV vaccine has been tested in humans. What was tested? Researchers created three different mRNA vaccines designed to produce the HIV envelope protein, the part HIV uses to enter cells. Two vaccines mimic the virus more accurately by using membrane-bound proteins. And the other one used a free-floating version a more traditional but less precise approach. The results were impressive, but also surprising. 80% of people who received the membrane-bound vaccine developed strong virus-blocking antibodies. Only 4% of those given the free-floating version had the same response. This suggests that vaccines designed to more closely mimic the virus structure may finally give us the edge we've been missing. Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. About 6.5% of participants developed itchy hives, lasting for several weeks. Similar reactions were seen in earlier studies, with up to 18% experiencing mild rashes. Scientists are still investigating the cause, but side effects like this are not uncommon with early phase vaccine trials. So what happens now? Researchers are already planning next phase trials focused on lowering mRNA doses to reduce side effects, using only membrane-bound protein versions, adding booster shots to increase long-term protection. The ultimate goal, a vaccine that can trigger antibodies powerful enough to stop multiple strains of HIV. For over 40 years, the world has waited for an HIV vaccine. The toll in lives lost, healthcare costs, and stigma has been staggering, especially in low- and middle-income countries. But now, we may be at a turning point, thanks to mRNA. The same scientific innovation that helped us fight a global pandemic could now help us stop one of the world's most enduring epidemics. A vaccine for HIV is no longer just a dream. It's finally and truly in the making. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone passionate about science and global health.
Got questions or thoughts? Drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.